Yo, what's poppin' everybody, and welcome back to an Elden Ring video. Today I'm going to be showing you probably two of the coolest and easiest rune farming glitches. You are going to be able to take advantage of this to gain a ton of easy runes, guys. Not only that, you'll be able to level up your character and just be able to upgrade your loot, of course. But before you start, consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications so you never miss a video. And while you're at it, please like and comment on what your thoughts on glitches are. But with that said and done, let's hop straight into it. So if you guys know how to get to the deep depths then you can skip on ahead i'll have a time on the bottom that you guys can see right now for people who haven't made it here yet and need a little more guidance i'm going to take you step by step how to get there so first you're going to want to make sure you talk to selen to find out about radon then you want to go to khaled and at the bottom of the map there will be a grace called impassable great bridge you're going to want to go up to the teleporter next to it and this teleporter should be active and you will be able to travel to another location travel through it and talk to this jester he's going to talk about the festival and you're going to want to say you're ready he will then describe to you how nasty radon is like listen to this man slurped down this carcass Gorging on them. like this is some serious asmr action going on right now just like ugh. so if you want to quickly cheese radon i know a quick tactic you don't want to make sure he aggros you so what you're gonna have to do is run towards him and dodge his arrows then he's gonna switch up on his attack and shoot arrows from the sky all you're gonna need to do is summon torrent and dodge then radon will hop on his horse and chase you you then want to bring him to my location so you could cheese him in one shot instead of risking it while he pulls a draco meteor from pokemon also sorry for that weird cut i just did i didn't get him on my first try so i had to ran back and then run him around so all you're gonna want to do is get to my location jump on the hill you're gonna land on the rock and then jump again to the right and keep going upwards as you can see i didn't get on my first second but i did get on my third try if you need a better look i'm gonna show you in slow motion so you can get a better understanding on how to do it and not mess it up but as i said but simply you just want to try to land on the cliff and then keep double jumping to keep yourself on the cliff there you're gonna want to go up to this tree stand and move forward on top of it so radon will go under you and hopefully fall to his death instantly making this a quick and easy cheese for you there are other ways but i think this is honestly the best so you don't have to worry about him going crazy but once you do cheese him a meteor will fall and change limb grave and you're just gonna have to teleport out so once you are able to teleport you're gonna want to teleport to the, the church of marika then follow my cursor place one exactly where i do because that location that you want to head towards has just completely changed to make this faster all you're gonna want to do is call on torrent to make this ride a little bit easier i will speed up the clip of course but if you place the marker where i said you will end up in the location i end up So once you get here, all you're going to want to do is fall down the cliff and head towards the right as shown on screen and then jump on the floating rocks. Make sure you are very careful. You could actually fall very easily. Then double jump to my location and it will call off torrent. So everything's going to be on foot now. But all you're going to want to do is just fall down, stay on the left and fall down again. Continue following my location and you'll be in Nakron, the internal city. All we're going to do is just jump on the houses and keep moving down. Remember, if you need to slow down the clip, just go to settings and go to 0.5 for speed. But all we're doing is just continually hopping down the houses moving down the path and when you get to the end all you're going to want to do is jump in this little window on the left and then keep moving forward and then jump down run past these guys don't even bother with them because all you want to do is quickly get to grace because it's right here in front of you and you're going to want to touch it but now you're in for a boss fight and you're going to be fighting the mimic he's pretty easy if you can handle yourself and i think you guys can but all you're going to want to do is follow my location very simple he's just down this path go in take him out and move towards grace and then move forward to the next location i'm moving all the way down this bridge and once you get to the end you're going to be able to use your torrent for faster travel and moving past enemies So you're going to call on him and move towards the path and stick to the right. Once you keep to the right and move past all the enemies, you're going to be heading towards the trees. Be careful, it's easy to get lost in here, but you're going to keep seeing jellyfish and there's going to be a pack of them at the end. All you're going to want to do is go to their location, move past them, and there's going to be a ledge that you could drop down into. All you're going to want to do is drop on that ledge and move past some enemies. These jellyfish are harmless unless you fight them. And once you keep moving past, you'll find the grace. You're going to want to be able to touch it and then move forward for another boss fight. But quickly, all you got to do is follow my location and then start preparing yourself mentally there are ways to cheese these guys personally i didn't do it myself i thought it would take too long to get them falling down the waterfall or getting a summons to fight him from a far distance that he doesn't chase you in my head that would just take too long so i decided to fight them head on and once you defeat them you'll be rewarded with a great sword and a twin blade and a side of grace you're gonna want to make sure you go to it you're gonna want to go rest at it and then there's gonna be a little coffin you're gonna interact with it go inside it and it's gonna act like a little elevator you're gonna start moving towards the surface and once you reach the top you'll be be rewarded with the deep root depths.
and it grace in front of you all you're gonna want to do is go towards it and make sure you rest at the location and now you are ready for the two glitches the glitch location is at across the route it's quite simple to get there so i'm just going to speed towards it just in case anyone has any trouble finding its location as you can see you'll be rewarded with this other grace i suggest grabbing it but it's not the glitch location so once you grab we're just going to keep moving forward run past all the enemies don't even give them a second thought you're just going to go up the route and once you get to the top you'll be rewarded with this set of grace make sure you grab it because the glitch is close and you don't want to keep going from the start to this location once you're ready all you're going to want to do is call on torrent run down this route to this building run around to this other route then head towards up the route once you're close to the top you're just gonna want to jump to the right and then to the left very quickly like a curved left and then just keep jumping up till you head to the top i showed you that in real time and i'm going to show you that in slow motion so you can understand it a little bit better as you can see i just jumped to the right and then very quickly turned to the left landed on the route and then just kept jumping up you just want to jump on this route now and you will be on the top it is a little tricky but i think you'll be able to handle it but once you're up here you're gonna have to make another jump this one's actually a little bit easier all you want to do is run with torrent then jump off the route this will have you gliding in the second you glide towards the edge of the mountain you're gonna want to double jump this will have you land on the roots now and you'll be able to jump on the rocks it's very simple and then you're gonna want to follow my location get past these ledges of rocks keep going until you see a hill of rocks all you're gonna want to do is jump on them and then there's going to be a dark area that's not filled in and all you're going to want to do is just run in double jump and you'll be falling continuously while you're falling though you're going to want to keep swinging your sword and after a while you'll start to receive runes also if it's your first time you'll get rune arcs and other goodies and when you had enough all you're going to want to do in your map is go to a side of grace preferably one that we just use the cross of roots and once you go to your side of grace you'll be receiving more runes now the reason you didn't see me do it is because your boy stopped swinging for like two minutes so apparently if you don't keep swinging continuously you'll just end up getting destroyed so make sure you're continuously swinging your sword until you want to leave but that is glitch numero uno on to the next glitch so moving towards our next glitch starting from the side of grace from across the roots you want to move towards this nameless external city there'll be a side of grace there i'll speed up the clip to show you guys how to get there and make life a little bit easier but once you get there you're gonna then want to follow my location and be ready because you're gonna be fighting a crucible knight you're gonna have to fight him because he'll get in your way otherwise and once you take him out now you're able to get the glitch started all you're gonna want to do is call on torrent have him move forward dismount him and then quickly leave the game. I showed you that in real time. Now I'm gonna take the time to show you in slow motion. It is actually a little difficult. It takes slight of hand work, but once you know the buttons you have to press and how fast you have to do it, it actually does get quite simple over some time. I think this will probably take you about 20 to 30 minutes to get down, and then every other try, you'll probably get it. But once you got the hang of it, you're gonna come back into your game. You're gonna see Torrent standing next to you. That's how you know that you did it right. If he's not there, you'll have to redo it until you see him there. And once you're ready, you're gonna wanna walk over to the ledge and slowly move close, but not to the point where you're falling off, but just to the point where you're barely clinging to the ledge. When you are satisfied with your results, you're going to want to go by exiting the game and then going back into it. I'm going to just quickly speed up the clip. And when you spawn in, call on Torrent and it'll ask you to use a flask to revive him. That's okay. Use it and then summon him again. And now you'll be able to fly. So all you need to do is run off the cliff, going southwest directly in the middle. Keep running forwards. Eventually you will get runes and some rune arcs. To receive more runes, all you would need to do is teleport back to the side of grace and they will almost appear out of nowhere that you got more runes. Now the reason you don't see me doing this is because your boy jumped. Yeah, FYI, if you jump while doing the flying glitch, it will kill you, so do not jump for your own sanity. Alright guys, that is the end of the video. I know it was a long one, but if you did enjoy it, please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more future content. That's said and done. I'm your boy Whirling Before, and I'm out. Peace.